just two or three days ago, a Muslim scientist who studied history and uh, the ancient Egyptian, he announced in Egypt, and this is a person who is from the family of the president too, so it's not only a Muslim, he announced to the Muslims that you should know that Ramadan was not only for you. Ramadan was for the ancient people of Pharaoh. They celebrate Ramadan, even they celebrate the night of Al-Qadr. You remember we spoke about it, where Muhammad, he speak about, uh, he received the Quran. And remember, the Quran say clearly that the people of the Pharaoh are pagans. And now this scientist who is very well respected between the Muslims, this is not a Christian, this is not a Jew, this is not a Hindu. This is a guy who spent his life studying the Egyptian when he is an Egyptian. When he come with this and he say it, how much that will affect Islam? You know how many times we say to you Ramadan is something been taken from the Sabian? Do you remember? Everything Muhammad he have. is a story from somebody else and we will show you today كل سنة وكل مصر بخير أول يوم في شهر رمضان المبارك أعده الله علينا ولكن كان هناك أيضا نوع من أنواع الصيام من 1 يناير إلى 31 ديسمبر العام هو من موعد معين في السنة إلى نفس الموعد في السنة التي تلي فالأصح لغويا يعني أن احنا نقول كل عام وأنتم بخير ولا نقول كل سنة أنتم طيبين لأن كل سنة وأنتم بخير وكل سنة أنتم طيبين دي only أو فقط في واحد يناير. العام من واحد يناير. العام. Yeah, he's correcting her about and now saying how to say things in the Arabic and how it mean in his Turk way. Let us go where he speak about رمضان. الشعيرة الدينية الخماسية. <تصفيق> فكانت في مصر قديمة وما نستغربش طبعا لأن أول رسول هو إدريس عليه السلام كان خمس تلاف وخمسمية قبل الميلاد يعني قبل الديانات السماوية بثلاث تلاف سنة وخمسمية He's saying the first messenger they heard about he was five thousand years and five hundred five thousand five hundred years and supposedly his name is Idris and Muslim they have a special name for everybody you know Idris uh, but what does have to do with this? So he's saying, going back, he says, oh, this is not, this shouldn't be strange for us uh, because there is messengers came thousands of years ago. Okay, but what does have to do with the Egyptian? Egyptian, the Quran say clearly that they are pagans. This is why Allah, he sent Aaron and Moses to the Pharaoh. Listen carefully. When we talk about Idris, Idris, في اخبار الحكماء بتاريخ العلماء في صفحه واحد واثنين بيتكلم على ادريس انه كان نبيا ورسولا ويعتبر اول رسول لانه لم ياتي رسل من قبل حتى ادم كان نبيا فقط ولم يكن رسولا لان ما كانش When the Muslims they speak about someone his name is Idris let us show you Idris who is Idris You will be surprised Enoch. According to Muslims, Idris is Enoch. I don't know how the name Enoch became Idris, don't ask me please, because this is Islam, you know. Uh, obviously, they have nothing to do with each other, you know. Uh, the name, they don't fit. And obviously, Muhammad is taking the name from somewhere else. This is not where the name is coming from, it's obvious. Idris, Enoch. All right, so he's talking about our prophet. His name is Enoch, who was thousand of years ago, exist, and according to him, he was five thousand five hundred years ago. I don't know how the numbers will work with this guy, uh, because the Muslim they have a genealogy for Muhammad, where he go all the way to Adam, and then if we if they go more than five thousand years, they will go before Adam. Let us go to the video. 
في رسالة وما فيش ناس هيديها لمين فكان العقيدة الخماسية في مصر قديمة نمرة واحد التوحيد ولا The Egyptian, the old Egyptian, they believe in something called al-Khumasiyah, which is the, uh, uh, the oneness of God, Tawheed. He used exactly the word Tawheed. So the old Egyptian, they believe in Tawheed. Listen carefully. The old Egyptian, they believe in Tawheed. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to post the link for the video so you can watch it all for those who speak Arabic. For those who don't speak Arabic, it doesn't make any difference. But let us read what here they say about summary about this. He said, as an example, the Egyptian today, they say, Wahawi ya Wahawi. Wahawi ya Wahawi, if, so, if you are not an Egyptian, you won't understand. And even if you're an Egyptian, you have no idea what are you saying. You are just repeating what, what you heard from your grand, grand, grandparents. So Wahawi ya Wahawi mean they are asking the moon to appear. He says, Inna iyaha hiya ismu iyah. حتب والتي ينقسم اسمها إلى إياح ومعناها القمر so إياحة it is إياح حتب which is two words mean the moon حتب mean time and that mean the, the, the moon of time and she was a queen of Egypt or one of the queens of the pharaohs she encouraged her husband to find the Hoxos, to fight them. And after that, her son, older son, the Pharaoh, Camus. And this is what they did. And then after that, King Ahmus. Then he continues speaking about uh, uh, many things. He said, uh, the history of Ramadan Ramadan is on okay. And this is a this is a summary of the article. Hold on. So here they are. Okay, it says in says here, and the, uh, uh, and that Ramadan can the most high aid. By the Ramadan, let us see. Hold on. Let us go to the top. He said. Yes, Islam is religion where it uh, where uh, where Ramadan came at that time. But the Faraina, the Faraina, the Pharaohs, they used to fast one month for real, and they witness the night of Al Qadr. Al Qadr, they celebrate that too, which Muhammad he claimed that this is the night he received the Quran, and then and even they celebrate that uh, holiday as the night of Al Qadr. Uh, anyway, the video is long. And he is saying, even the Quran confirm, taking that from the Egyptian saying, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu kutiba alaykum al-siyam. And he is saying that the word siyam, the Quran, when the Quran says the word siyam, siyam is an Egyptian word. It is not Arabic. Actually, I would use Google Translation to translate the page, you know, better than just me translating. You can use Google Translation. So here he says, chapter 2, verse 183, it says, he quoted this verse from the Quran. He says, it is uh, 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 ordered for you to do siyam. Siyam supposedly means fasting in Arabic. He's saying, this is not an Arabic word, this is an Egyptian word. Siyam. Okay? A song. A song. So here, you, you will see here, he says in his uh, study, he says that the word song is coming from before Islam from Egypt. He says, and it is an Egyptian, old ancient Egyptian. Tani saw, saw, which means you forbid yourself from uh, uh, food, you know, like you stop eating and etc. Uh, let me post the link for you. You can watch the whole video. And you can go use Google Translation. There's many articles about it by this guy, but I chose this one because it's short and the video is there anyway. So if you click at Google Translation, uh, we have to open Google Browser. Now, Muslims, they did not notice how dangerous what this guy he just said because uh, he just demolished the religion of Islam. As simple as that. 
If you remember my time, I told you that the Sabian believed that the Pharaoh was a Sabian. This is why the uh, Sabian, they hate the God of the Jews, Adonai. They call him the devil. They made fun of the Jews God who ordered the Jews to practice circumcision. Uh, circumcision. And Muhammad, he took that from the Jews too. So let us go here, translate to English. This is the title. The pharaohs fasted for 30 days and known the night of power. Okay. And here you go down the rest of the article. You know, let's zoom in. All right. And as you see, they witnessed, the, they, they celebrate for Ramadan and they even celebrate the night of Al Qadr. And here he says to you that even the word song uh, is coming, it's an Egyptian word. It is not an Arabic word. And this is where the word came from. Uh, let's see. And he says here, and this is why the Quran quoting uh, that Allah said that fasting is uh, prescribed for you. All right. And then here he explained the word psalm, where the word psalm is coming from. He says uh, uh, that the word psalm is coming from an Egyptian word. All right. Now, it might be just a light article and light statement from a scientist who study uh, 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 the history of the Egyptian. But then if we go to the Quran, we will have a problem based on what this guy said. If the pharaohs and the people of the pharaohs were celebrating Ramadan, what was the religion? He said even there are people who worship one God. What was the religion? That means all the Quran is wrong. All those verses in the Quran speaking about Pharaoh, the unbelievers and his people who don't believe in Allah. all those verses when chapter 7 uh, says that Allah he sent Moses to the Pharaoh and he said to him oh Pharaoh I am a messenger of Allah for you to give you a message and then the Pharaoh don't believe him and they don't believe in Allah and the Pharaoh obviously is a pagan person the funny is that the studies show us that the pharaohs, they teach their people they are God themselves. So how the pharaohs are gods in the same time they are fasting Ramadan. The people of the pharaoh are fasting Ramadan, but fasting for who? For the pharaoh. When the Quran speak about the Pharaoh, and the Pharaoh says, you believe in Moses? Before I give you permission, surely this is a magic. So this is a, actually not magic, sorry. This is surely, a, a, surely it's a, a plot, which have applauded for you, at the makr, deception. So how the Quran speak about the Pharaoh and the people of the Pharaoh as Kuffar and then we just heard this man saying clearly that those people they celebrate Ramadan they celebrate the night of power which Muhammad he took literally and he claimed that he have one too but the Quran says that Allah he punish the Pharaohs for not believing he punished his people. Flood came on Egypt. Loctos come in Egypt. Insect, fraud, frogs. All those things. Just because the guy refused. And then don't forget that Allah, he drawn the army of the Pharaoh. 
which means the Quran describing the Pharaoh and the Pharaoh people are evil. But we just heard the guy saying the Pharaoh people they celebrate Ramadan. Now, if we go and do a little search, what the Muslim used to fast before Ramadan, where Ramadan came, you will find that Ramadan is a joke. Muhammad was looking for fasting, as an example. Before Ramadan, Muhammad used to fast. Different fasting. Different fasting. What is that fasting? The story I will show you is a clear evidence that Muhammad is not a prophet of God. Imagine I go to a city and I claim to be a prophet of God. And then I see a bunch of people fasting and I say to them, what is this? He says, this is the day of Ashura. This is the day of Ashura. He said, what is the day of Ashura? What is the day of Ashura? Which means Muhammad, he do not even know what is that day. A Jew, he said, this is the day when Moses, he cross the sea. When Muhammad, he heard that, he says, well, this is a day for us more than you then. And he start fasting Ashura. Let us find the Hadith. So we can love together at the Prophet who is taking his fasting, not from God. You see, ritual should not come from a Jew walking in the street to a prophet. Ritual should come from God. If the God of Muhammad said to him, you fast this day, then the God of Muhammad said to him, fast this day. And that explained why he is fasting. But Muhammad, he see a Jew in the street. And he asked him, why you are fasting? He said, this is the day of Ashura. And just because they fast Ashura, he fasted. Read carefully. This is Sahih Bukhari. The Muslim, they cannot say, you know, the drama they have, weak and strong and fat, and vitamin D and E is missing. The Prophet came to the Medina. Medina is a city which is called Yathrib, the Jewish city. And when Muhammad later killed them all and took the city as usual. And he saw a, the Jews fasting on the day of Ashura. This is the first time Muhammad, he see a fasting day. Who was fasting according to the story here? The Jews. He asked them about that. And here a clear evidence that Muhammad, he do not know what is that. Because if I know, I will not ask you what is this, right? So he asked the Jews, what is this? They replied, this is a good day, the day which Allah rescued Bani Israel, the children of Israel, from their enemy. So Moses fasted in this day. The Prophet said, we have more claim over Moses than you. So the Prophet fasted on that day and ordered the Muslim to fast that day. Do you see it? Do we have any Muslim can explain to us how Muhammad he take his ritual from the Jews? What if the Jews are lying? What if this is not a true story? What if this date is not exist? And who is a Muslim can show me Ashura in the Old Testament? Where is this guy, the, the Ashura? Do we have any Muslim? So I am a prophet of God. I walk in the street. <clears throat> I see somebody is a Hindu. 
And he is, uh, he said, uh, you want to eat with me? He said, no, I cannot eat, I'm fasting. I say, hey, Hindu, why you are fasting? He says, this is the day of etc. What is that? So Muhammad was looking for a fasting day, and you don't have one. I will show you another example of Muhammad <clears throat> building a religion. Muhammad is building a religion. He don't have one yet. He claimed to be a prophet, but he have nothing. You know, he don't have rituals yet. Uh, he left the Kaaba. He have no Kaaba no more. Uh, you know, kissing the black stone is not there no more. And later he went back to his root, you know, so he started kissing the black stone again because the Jews did not accept him anyway. In different places we will find, in many places we will find that Muhammad, he was very sensitive to the Jews busting him, saying to him, Anything they say to him, he considered they are saying he is they are saying to him, you copy us. The Messenger of Allah used to stand up for a funeral. Okay. Until the crops was placed in the grave. A learned Jews, a learned Jew here mean a, a rabbi. Passed him and said, This is how we do it. The Prophet sit down and said, sit down, sit down, act differently. Here you ask yourself, okay, Muhammad is a prophet of God. He was praying in a certain way. And he used, it says here, he used to, to pray in a certain way. He used, you see the word used? Which means God knows for how long. Maybe a year, maybe two years, maybe four years, maybe five, I don't know. Just a Jew walked by and he said, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he changed the prayer. What the problem with Muhammad then? Was he praying wrong? Or Muhammad he is saying to himself, they got me busted, I'm praying like them, I have to change it. Because if this is a prayer, and the prayer of Muslims is coming from Allah, then who cares if the Jews they say we do it this way or not? So what? And here you notice something very funny. Don't the Muslims they say we pray like Moses? Don't the Muslims they say we pray like Jesus? Suddenly they don't want to pray like Moses. And how fast to change the way you pray just because a guy he said to you, this is how we do it. And what Muhammad he said? Sit down, sit down, act differently. I wish I have a camera at that time. That would be hilarious. Imagine if we can have a video for this. It's a funeral. And the prophet, he prayed for hundreds of times like this. And then a Jewish rabbi, he walked by. He said, Habibi Muhammad, Habibi. This is how we do it, Habibi. Muhammad. He got ticklish, like what the heck, they got me busted. Immediately Muhammad, he come with the statement, sit down, and he sit down too. Like, sit down fast, fast. You know, you, you, sit down, sit down, you idiot, sit down, sit down, just act differently, okay? Let us act differently. Well, isn't it Muhammad you receive inspiration from God? How fast the inspiration, man? Where is Jibreel? How Muhammad he come to the conclusion so fast that he should not pray like this anymore? And why you need to act differently? Are you just acting differently for the sake of differently or you are following God? A person who is following God, he will not act differently. Let us say a Muslim he walk by and he says, this is how we do it, whatever I'm doing. And I am a Christian, let us say, I, I pray, I open my hand to God. I say, okay, I'm not going to do it no more. So, why do I want to do that? That is really silly and stupid. But here you notice that Muhammad, because he have a reputation, that the Jews, they keep saying that he is stealing from them. And obviously it's true. It's true. 
and this is the fasting of Ashura as you see in the front of you and then Muhammad just to show you how this how crazy this guy is the Jews they fast Ashura in a certain day in the day of Ashura which is supposedly the day they fasted for hundreds and hundreds of years the Muslim they said to him because remember he keeps saying to them act differently right act differently but we are fasting Ashura it's the same so look what Muhammad said just to show you that this is the most corrupt false stupid man how easy to expose him when they said to him, okay, but we are fasting the same day, the, the Jews, they are fasting. But remember, this is the Jew, the Jew fasting, supposedly. Ibn Abbas reported when the Messenger of Allah fasted in the day of Ashura and commanded, and look, it says fasted in the day of, on the day of Ashura, exactly the same day. And command that should be preserved as fast. His companion said to him, not Allah. <laughs> they said, Messenger of Allah. It is the day which the Jews, the Jews and the Christians hold high uh, 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 esteem. <laughs> Thereupon, the Messenger of Allah said, "When the next year come, God willing, we would observe the fast on the ninth, not in the eighth, not in the tenth." <laughs> The day where Moses is across the, 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 the sea, it changed, that's it. Just to be differently, you know, okay, but isn't this the day where the Moses, he crossed the sea and you believed in and you, you, you fasted yourself? Do you see what I'm talking about? When Muhammad first time he fasted this day, isn't it because they told him that this is the day where Moses fasted? Okay, so as long as this is the day where Moses fasted and because of that, the Jews they fast and Muhammad accept to fast. Wonderful. You Muhammad, you change the day? Oh, we, we will uh, fast the day uh, before it, okay? <laughs> that means Muhammad is willing to change the day when Moses, he crossed the sea just to act differently. Well, if this is the day where Moses, he fasted, why you need to change it? How you can change it? Are we listening people? If this is the day where Moses, he crossed the sea, and because of that day, the Jews fasted and Muhammad fasted, wonderful. Then how Muhammad, he changed the date? Just because you want to look differently. Is it obvious that Muhammad is a fraud? Because if this is the day, uh, you know, the funny they say that the Christians, the, they say the Jews and the, the Christians, they corrupt. Look at you, you are corrupt in history. Moses, if Moses is a cross in the 10, Okay, well, you Muslims changing the to nine, why? What, what, what is the purpose exactly? Ah, we don't want to look like the Christians and the Jews. And the same exactly for the, the, the Adhan. You know, why, why Muhammad, he chose the Adhan? Anyone knows? Is it Allah who told him to do the Adhan? Any Muslim? Did Muhammad receive an order from Allah to do Adhan? Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Huh? <clears throat> the Hadith says, and thank you for the Hadith exposing Muhammad. 
Muhammad was trying to find, as, as I told you, trying to establish a religion. He don't have one. The Christians, they have the bill. You know? Just Jews, they have, you know, the horn they called for prayer, you know. Uh, Muslims, how they call them for prayer? Once Muhammad, he saw a Muslim holding a bill in his hand and he is going to use it. Muhammad, he said to the man, why you are holding this bill? Are you saying it? The man, the Muslim man, he said, no. Uh, Muhammad didn't like the idea. Muhammad, he decided to find a way to call for prayer. Some story they say that this guy that he saw him, he is not even a Muslim, he's a Christian, but whatever it is. But then we find that Muhammad, he have a meeting with his companions. And let me find the hadith for you. Um, uh, we will find it. All right. Let us see. Okay, this is Sahih, so the Muslim cannot say uh, we are making things up. When Allah Messenger order, ordered a bill to be made so that it might be struck to gather the, the people for prayer. When the Messenger of Allah ordered a bill to be made so that it might be struck to gather the people for prayer. Muslims, are you there? How Muhammad wanna call the people for a prayer? A bill? A man carrying a bill in his hand appeared to me while I was asleep. And I said, servant of Abdu, Abdu, Abdu Allah, oh, this is supposed to be in the dream. Will you sell this bill? Muhammad is looking for a bill. Suppose this is a dream now, not the real. So Muhammad said to the guy who he saw in the dream, would you like to send me this bill? Because he needed for the call to the prayer like the Christians. He asked, will you do it? Do with it? I replied, we shall use it to call the people to prayer. He said, should I, uh, should I not accept your, uh, you something better? Uh, so suggest, suggest you something better than that I replied certainly then he said he told me to say Allah is the most great Allah the most great Allah the most great great most great remember here there's no Jibreel it's a dream supposedly the story here it says that now just to show you how Muslim they lie to Muslims about this. There is different hadith totally oppose what this story here is saying. When the Muslims 
the companions of Muhammad as they called him, the gang. They gathered together and they were wondering how we can call people for prayer because people are not able to know when the prayer time is. And even the prayer was which day is going to be. Is it Saturday? Is it, is it Sunday? Why Muhammad he chose a Friday? You will find that all those things happen because Muhammad, he wanted to be different. Let me find the other hadith. <clears throat> about it Let us see. I'm trying just to find the hate for you in English. Give me a second. All of this will lead us to one thing, that Muhammad is not a prophet. He is just trying to build up a religion. Okay. Read carefully. You see how this, the story changed now? They are trying to find out how to do the uh, call for prayer. Chapter, the call of the prayer section. And as said, they mention kindling fire and the use for the uh, the use of the bill. Which one? Like we can light a fire so people they come for the prayer. Or we use a bill. And mention the Jews and the Christians. Then Bilal was ordered to repeat the call to prayer twice. This is one story. Let us go. What you see here in front of us here, they are they are suggesting to Muhammad to do this. Use the bell, use fire, you know. And then they come to a conclusion that let us do this. Let us see the other story. This is the same hadith I showed you already. Look at this hadith. A disaster. This is the, this is a disaster. Look at this. This is Al-Bukhari. When the Muslims arrived to the Medina, they used to assemble for a prayer and used to guess the time. They guess the time for it during these days. The practice of Adhan for a prayer had not been introduced yet. Once they discussed this problem regarding the call for prayer. Some people, which means some Muslims, companion of Muhammad, suggest to use the bill like the Christians. And this is why we see Muhammad himself, he ordered to make a bill. Other proposed a trumpet like the horn of the Jews, to use by the Jews. But Umar was the first to suggest, read carefully, Omar was the first to suggest that man should call the people for a prayer. Oh boy. And this is Al-Bukhari. So the story about the dream is false. This is Sahih. And this is Al-Bukhari. The first one who come 
with the way to call for a prayer is not Allah, is not Jibreel, it is not Muhammad. It was in a discussion about what to do to solve the problem. And as usual, the solution come from Umar. Umar al-Khattab, he says, in some hadith says, Allah, he agree with me in 10. Some they say five, some they say three, some they say seven. Including the Kaaba. Why the Muslim they face the Kaaba now? It was Umar. Hijab. Who is the one who made the hijab? Allah or Muhammad? No. It was Umar. The ritual of the house of Abraham. Umar. Even Muhammad, he says, if there is a messenger will come after me or a prophet will come after me, that will be Umar. My Lord uh, 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 concord with me. My judgment, between my two brackets, my judgment, on three, <laughs> three occasions. In the case of the station of Abraham, in the case of observing the veil, and the case of the prisoner of Badr. And those three, by the way, they are different from story to story, which means they will end like 20, 30, 40, 50. And you will find that the most important things in Islam is made by Umar. I mean, look, the Kaaba is Umar. The hijab is Umar, the adhan is Umar. So what is left? Are we following? The Kaaba is order came from Umar. And then Allah, he took the verses of Umar, the same as I have said. Look, this is Al-Bukhari. Umar, he says clearly that Allah, the verses came the same as I said was revealed. Read, read carefully. So the verse, this verse, came down the same as I had said was revealed. Do you see it? Islam is not a religion. This guy is, you know, he doesn't know what to do. He's claiming to be a prophet. Okay, guys, what we do now? All the Jews walk by and the Jews say, this is how we do it. They act differently. <clears throat> This is a religion. See for Friday and Saturday. Why Muhammad he chose Friday instead of Saturday? That is a question, by the way, Muslims don't dare to answer. Uh, as all the questions, anyway. Because remember, in the Quran, Allah, he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for breaking the Sabbath. You remember? Okay, that's mean this is a bit <coughs> this is the day for Allah. <coughs> that's it. This is the day for Allah. <coughs> 